Today we're going to go over Ytech's point-to-point -point antenna systems. These antennas were designed to make your life as an installer as easy as possible. And I'm going to go ahead and cover why that is. These antennas do not require the use of a laptop or any special apps in order to configure them. As an installer, these are very, very easy to use. Everything that you would need to be able to change can be changed simply and in the field or pre-configured before you even take them out to a job site. So I'm going to get into showing you how to change the channel, how to change the device type, and all of the different ways that you'll be able to connect this antenna out in the field. To get started, I'm going to go ahead and connect the PoE injector and connect a Ethernet line from the PoE output to the WAN input of the antenna. Once it is booted, you'll see a channel. In order to change the channel, you simply hold down the button for about five seconds and then release and you will see it start to flash. When the display is flashing, you can use the plus or minus buttons to increase or decrease the channel number on the antenna. Once you have selected a channel, just let it sit for a second and then it'll lock that channel in. So H is the main network side of this antenna pair. You can switch it to a remote station by flipping the little switch here on the bottom left. Now it says C, which is a remote station. Flipping the switch back will bring it back to being a home station. So now let's go ahead and get the station connected to the home antenna. So once it has been plugged in and fully booted, you will see a C and then the channel number it is currently on. We need to get this to channel 20, so we're going to hold the button down for a few seconds and it'll start to flash. Once it's flashing, hit the plus button until you get to channel 20. After getting it onto channel 20, just let it sit for a few seconds, it'll stop flashing. And then after a few more seconds, it will connect to your H base station antenna. It is important to note that you must have an H antenna and at least one C in order to create a pair, but you can have multiple C antennas point at the H antenna to gain a point to multi-point setup. Now you can see that the Wi-Fi light has been illuminated, which means that there is a connection between these two antennas. Now that we have a connection between the two antennas, we're gonna go ahead and show the different ways that you can connect these in a network scenario. So starting off, we're going to connect the home network side antenna to my NVR. So we're going to plug it first into the LAN port directly on the antenna itself. And now that that is connected, we're going to go ahead and connect an IP camera onto the LAN port of the remote station antenna. I should also point out that these are 24 volt PoE antennas in this particular test. So I have this camera connected with a 12 volt power supply, but on the higher end antennas, they do have a 48 volt output. So you can power a camera directly off the antenna without needing a separate power supply. So you can see that we have an image on the NVR I'm going to go ahead and pick up the camera to kind of show you that there's very little latency between these antenna pairs. And then let's get into a different way to connect the antennas. So right now we're connected on the LAN output of the home side station. We're going to go ahead and disconnect the network wire from there and plug it into the LAN input on the PoE injector. This is going to make zero impact on the overall functionality of these antennas. As you can see, we still have full connection between the NVR and the camera through the wireless link. The next way that I'm going to show you is by disconnecting the camera from the LAN output of the station antenna, and even though it's out of shot, I'm going to plug it into the LAN input on the PoE injector. And now that that's been connected, I'll once again pick up the camera and show you that we still have a connection to the NVR. So any of these combinations work. It's really whatever is the most convenient for you when you're out in the field. So of course, it's really not that impressive to show you a wireless link when the wireless antennas are sitting a couple inches apart on a desk. So I'm going to hook up the main station side antenna onto a pole sitting on top of my roof. 
I'm going to go ahead and attach this to the pole using some zip ties. Once I have those secured into place, I will go ahead and connect a 100 foot ethernet cable from here to the injector inside my building and then on a 25 foot cord on the land side of that injector back to the MVR. Here I'm just going to show you that the antenna is currently booting up and it is still going to be the H antenna, meaning it is for the home side network and on channel 20. Only plugged into the WAN port on the antenna. So in this test I'm going to be about 200 meters or 650 feet away from the home antenna. I have my camera and my station antenna plugged in and here you can see with the red circle this is what I am aiming for. So I've got everything booted up. I'm going to take the station antenna and just point it generally towards the home side antenna. So it's actually a pretty broad pickup range, so this makes it fairly easy to do this test just by holding it. And if you look at the bottom of the antenna, there is some green LEDs that are illuminated. The Wi-Fi light shows it's connected to the main antenna, and the WAN light shows that it has data coming in from that port. And here is the security footage from the NVR using a Uniview 8 megapixel TriGuard camera. And as you can see, there's no latency, no skipping, no juddering, just a really great image coming over a pair of wireless antennas. And that's it, just really simple point-to-point -point antennas that you can configure out in the field and get around obstacles that really have no other option than a wireless connection. As always, thank you for watching. If you have any questions about YTech, Uniview, or Vivitech, please feel free to reach out to us or visit our website at wesupplysecurity.com.